Welcome to BusyButHealthy.com, your no-nonsense source for keeping healthy, fit, and fabulous with your host, Christine Fretwell. Hey guys, thanks for joining me yet again on another episode of Busy But Healthy. And today I've got another fabulous recipe for you and they are peanut butter and jelly swirl blondies. Yes, I know the name is delicious, isn't it? And they taste delicious too. And the best part is, is there's no added sugar and they are protein packed as well because you know how much I like baking treats with protein because then you can have it as a snack every day. So I'll just get started here, show you how to make it. So in our bowl here, we've got one cup of oat flour, super easy. And then we're adding another dry ingredient. I've got three scoops of just a vanilla whey protein powder. Um, this one I'm using is sweetened with stevia and just use whatever kind of low carb, um, low sugar protein powder that you like. So three scoops of whey protein. And to the dry ingredients as well, to not add any sugar, we're gonna use the Krista Stevia baking formula. And we're gonna use half a cup of it if you're using packets, then you could use about 12 to 14 packets of stevia. Okay, there we go. There's our half cup of Krista. And then one of our last ingredients, the dry anyway, is um, this is just a pinch of sea salt and one eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda, so just a little bit, because we don't want the blondies to bake like a muffin. And then we've got half a teaspoon of baking powder. So this all goes in with our dry ingredients. Spoon, stir around the dry ingredients. Perfect. And you know how I like to do everything in one bowl because we're busy, obviously and dirtying less dishes is the name of the game, to me anyway. So, into the one bowl of our dry ingredients, we're gonna mix in one quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce, and this is just also a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just gonna make a little well in the middle here and dump it in. Super easy, and then, for a bit more flavor and what would a peanut butter and jelly swirl blondie be without peanut butter. So we're gonna also add a quarter cup of all natural peanut butter. So you don't want sugar or anything in that. So we're gonna add this. It's our wet ingredient. There we go. And then some egg to hold it all together. And rather than using a whole egg, I'm gonna use egg whites to bring down the fat because we do have some fat with our natural peanut butter. So here's a quarter cup of, these are just liquid egg whites. Perfect. And then we are gonna need a little bit more liquid in addition to the eggs and all the other goodies. So I'm just gonna use a quarter cup of this unsweetened almond milk. True almond, you may have seen me post about it recently. Um, it's my new favorite almond milk, I love it. Okay, so I'm going to mix this all together. Okay, so this is all mixed, as you can see. It's kind of just a thicker batter. And that's what you want. Usually with muffins, when I'm using protein, you'll find they're a lot more liquidy. Um, I just happen to find that that works best for muffins, but this method for making blondies is working pretty well, so I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, so using my spatula here. Don't wanna miss out of, miss out on any of these goodies here. So I'm just gonna pour it into my eight by eight pan. And I've got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. Okay, so there is that. Just gonna grab a knife while I'm over here. Okay, so to make the swirl, this is really easy. It sounds more complicated and looks more complicated than it is, but it's really easy. So I've got two tablespoons of natural peanut butter, what we already used in some of the batter, and two tablespoons, I used a raspberry jam, like a no sugar added raspberry jam. 
Um, you can use whatever kind of jam you like. If you like, you know, strawberry, use strawberry, whatever. So, what we're going to do is just dab some peanut butter on top of the batter here, just randomly. And do some here. Just want to make sure you do it in some different spots. And then we do the same with the jam. So just some spots wherever in the batter. And then the swirl part comes with our knife. So just basically cut and swirl. And then I, so there, that looks pretty good, but I like to do a little bit more swirl. So I'm going to go this way too. It actually looks really impressive when it's baked too. Doesn't that look cute? the peanut butter and jelly swirl blondies. So these go into the oven at 350 degrees for about 20, 22 minutes. And I'll show you what they look like when they're all done. Okay, so my peanut butter and jelly swirl blondies are out of the oven. They're still a bit warm. Don't they look really cool? Can really see the swirl in there. And they're great. I've been having these for snacks lately and they're awesome <laughs> so from here you just wait till it cools down and cut it into 16 squares really easy I'll just cut one little one here so you can see and you'll see all the calorie information and everything on the site as per usual but here's what they look like aren't they cute these peanut butter and jelly swirl blondies are delicious and I love them for snacks. So thanks for joining me on another episode of Busy But Healthy and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye for now. For more tips, recipes, and information, please visit BusyButHealthy.com.